Welcome to Open Source Options and another QGIS tutorial. In this tutorial, I am going to show you how you can merge rasters in QGIS, also referred to as creating a raster mosaic. And so I have three rasters loaded up here. I downloaded these from the United States, Nas or United States National Data Viewer. Um, let me just show you what I have here. So I can turn these off. You can see that I have these three separate rasters and that as I turn those off they disappear. Okay, so I have three separate rasters making up this area. If I zoom in, you can see right here there's a seam or a line right between them. Um, these are three separate rasters. So I need to make them into one raster to represent a study area. And this is actually super easy to do. So we're going to use the GDAL merge tool. And there's two ways to find it. We can come down here to the bottom left corner and type merge. And we should be able to find merge raster. And I'm not finding it. That's OK. I'll show you where else you can find it. Well, sorry about that. But we can find up here. We can go to raster. We go to miscellaneous, and there it is. There's merge. Oh, I think it was down there. I just missed it. Let's check it again. Merge. Yep, right there, the top one. So just look for that merge symbol, or go up to raster, miscellaneous, and merge. And there you have it. So once we get this pulled up, go ahead and go to the input layers. And here's where we select the layers we want to merge. I am going to select all three of these layers to merge together. And once I've done that, I will click OK. All right. And now, this is important. Make sure you have the proper data type. Generally, if you're not sure what your data type should be, use float32. Integer is going to give you whole numbers. Floats will give you decimal numbers. The, uh, the number at the end, 16, 32, that represents the length of the number that, that can be stored in the raster. For integers, 16 often works unless you have very long numbers. Then you want to go uh, to 32. Um, we're going to just go to float32, which is a pretty standard data format. And if you're not sure which data format to use, uh, you can look at your raster values to find out if they're integers or floats, or go with float32, and you'll probably be OK. All right, so now I'm going to go ahead and we can save this to either a temporary file or save to a file. Um, if you click Save to File, you can select where you want to save this. I'm just going to save this to a temporary file for this example. Now, one last thing to talk about here before we click Run is this code right here. This is Python code. And if you have a Python environment set up where it has GDAL installed, you can take this code and you can run it. And this can be super useful if you want to batch process merges. You can copy this code and just change some of the file names to do that. Um, I'm not going to get into it any more than that. Uh, if you're interested, you can check out some other videos on how to use GDAL from the command line. So once we have this set up, we can go ahead and we can click Run. And we're processing the algorithm. And once this finishes, we will have a merged raster that will get added into our table of contents. And there you can see that it's just finished. So let's go ahead and close this now. Okay, and come over here. Okay, now right now we can't tell if anything's different. It looks the same. Let's turn off this merged layer. Let's zoom in to where we can see one of these seams, okay? So we can see this seam right here going right down the middle of this raster area. And if I turn my merged layer back on so it's on top, you can now see that that seam disappears. And so we have successfully merged that file. Now I can also turn these other layers off. And when I turn them off, you can see that I have my merged raster there. And let's just do one more test. We turn this off, we turn these three on, turn this back on, turn these three off. And sure enough, I have that merged raster there. So that is how you can merge rasters together in QGIS. Very, very simple process. Uh, thank you for watching, and I hope you have found this useful. I'll also put this up on my website if you want to see kind of a step-by-step -step description of instructions. This
This will be up on opensourceoptions.com, and the link will be in the description.